In this video, what we're going to look at is the difference between the four different kinds of paragraph setups. We have left, we have right, centered, and justified. Um, and left, right, and centered, you probably know from working in Word or something else. I'm going to show you how to set those, as well as the different things that justified has, as well as how do we make a justified paragraph look the best. And I'm going to go over some of those things right now. So the first paragraph is already left justified, so not much I need to do there. So a little thing with selecting type inside of InDesign, if I click once, right, it selects inside. If I click twice, it selects the word, three times the line, four times the whole entire paragraph, which is a really nice thing. So I make sure I'm grabbing everything. So you can do deal with your justifications up at the top here. You can also deal with them inside of the paragraph palette. And there's also shortcuts for all of them. So we're going to do centered, right, or right, or justified. And I'm going to explain what these justified ones are. So let's do right alignment. And so it just moves the anchor to the right. And the shortcut is Command-Shift-R. Left is Command-Shift-L. And centered is Command-Shift-C. Or you can go inside of here, inside the paragraph that's here. So let's now make this one right aligned. And then we're going to do justified. So this justified has uh, four options. You can do justified with the last line unjustified. You can do justified with the last line centered, justified last line to the right, or full justification all the way across. Right. So we're going to do justified with left lined uh, alignment there. And we're going to look at what justified does. Right? Justification is not something you can just go and leave. There's settings that we're going to have to do to really manipulate it. And let's just take off all these. Yep. So when you're looking at this, you see all these really kind of big gaps and holes. We want to make sure everything looks pretty uniform. And right now it doesn't. So I'm going to select this paragraph and I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to select the paragraph palettes and using little flyout ones, I'm going to go to where it says justification. And it brings up these numbers. Now I already have these numbers in already set, but so these are not the normal numbers. Normally they're, um, well, let's go to this one and show you. This is what they normally are, 80%, 100, and 133. Now, what that is saying is it's saying the word space. So at minimum, you're, you can't go below 80% of the word space. And at maximum, you can go to 133 word space. That's how you get these big gaps and holes. What we want to do is we want to minimize that. Letter spacing is the actual space between each individual letter, not word. And glyph scaling is the actual glyphs, which are just the, uh, the type itself. How much can we scale those? And we're going to just do those a, a, a minimum amount. And let's take a look at what those settings are. So 80, 85, 90, as we're going across, as far as minimal, minimum, desired, and maximum. And remember these numbers. These numbers are a great thing to, to, to use for this. Letter spacing, negative three, negative two, negative one. We don't wanna give those words too tight. Um, and then glyph scaling just a little bit and make sure we are in Adobe Single Line Composer. Um, and what Single Line Composer will do allow me to move individual words up onto the next line without Adobe really telling me how to do it. This is giving me full, um, full access to do what I want with that. And the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to types and tables and we're going to look at the palette story. Now story, what does that mean? Look, so what it means is you see what happened, right? So what it's doing is it's hanging like the, the, the comma is hang, hang from the outside. The, quotes kind of hang on the outside um, and it's just kind of adjusting optically um, for a lot of things and now I don't really have to do all that much it really kind of balanced this out for me um, and it actually looks pretty good and I didn't actually have to do anything to this so those are some some really good um, things that you can do if you really find you need to adjust some things um, let's just take you can use the same trick that we use option left arrow Right, it's kerning. You can see it's trying to pop it up onto the next line, which we did. Let's take T, move that to the next line, which it did, and let's take all the rest of this. See, it's a little tight, and I wouldn't, maybe not would have uh, adjusted it. It's a little tight. 18, it's not bad. 
So you can see now that's a better aligned paragraph than the bigger gaps that we had before. And again, that's using story and those justification setups inside of InDesign.